Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of another Minecraft Let's Play. I'm Beanin and today we are going to be creating a tree farm collection system uh, for a tree farm over here. We're going to be creating a storage silo for the farm and we're going to be doing some other work. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Now, before we get started uh, today, I have some a few minor updates. Uh, I created this tunnel that goes from my storage room straight out to the tree farm because I got tired of coming down here, digging it up, and then walking up the hill around and down the stairs. So now we can just have easy access uh, to right here. And we also have our first netherite ingot. Um, yes. So I'm going to hold off on upgrading, uh, mainly because I want to upgrade that. And off camera, you know, this week I'll be digging for more ancient debris. But yeah, I want to hold off on upgrading the netherite just a little bit. Um, and before we get started, uh, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so before we get started on the silos, uh, for the farm storage, I've gone ahead and dug out. Oh. Well, at least no one can see me die here. Come here. Okay, come here. Come, hold on. Okay. But I've gone ahead and dug out this little area. Uh, I may have to excavate this top part as well. Um, we'll see how that goes. But this will be the collection area. I'm going to just do... Uh, I don't know. What's easier at this point? So I have this collection area worked out where I can do the railway connections. Or I could just build a lot of hoppers that you know feed into a chest here. Uh, hmm. Honestly, I might go with the hoppers. Wait. I don't know. It's both. It's both. Both options are a lot of iron. Um, and a lot of wood. But I have plenty of everything. So I think I'm gonna stick with the uh option of the railway system. So I'm going to go ahead and get sorted. Are you? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get sorted with the uh, resources for this project and I'll catch up once we're building it. Right. So I have all the resources and we should be ready to get going. Oh, it's night. Uh, should I sleep? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and sleep. So <laughs> it's pretty dark in here. So the premise of this is going to be uh, quite simple. Um, we're just going to be placing a railroad track in a way, you can't see anything, uh, placing the railroad tracks in a way that covers the whole tree farm. Now, there are areas, well, actually I'll just cover it all because I have the resources. I was gonna say there are areas that are, uh, hard to cover and in fact instead of torches I should use glowstone because that way I can uh, work by light you guys can see and uh, you know there's no issues so hold on just gonna grab something real quick Let's see where is it there, there, there we go Oh yeah, I can light this up with glowstone. Sweet. 
Awesome. I am also going to uh, begin, you know, kind of eliminating torches around the compound uh, and going for hidden light uh, because I know that's a lot better in Minecraft. But for down here, we'll just use some glowstone. And... Well, that we can fix that later. <laughs> oh, good thing I got silk touch now. All right, uh, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh wait, okay, hold on. <laughs> I just realized that I have to. Uh, figure out how to do this. Hmm. So I'm thinking for over here, there should be an outer loop, okay? And I think also for each of these, I can go ahead and put a powered tr track right here. Uh, we do need those. Go away, dirt. Uh, there they are. Yeah, I'm thinking for each uh, glowstone section. Oh my gosh. Each glowstone section, I'm going to go ahead and power uh, this up. I'm not sure how many you need on one area, but never hurts to be safe. What's that? Or, oh wait, I literally have a marker to do this. Okay, I'm gonna reset. <laughs> okay, now that I have uh, fixed it and redone the dimensions, I can easily, oh, no. I can easily demonstrate, I don't want it to turn, uh, what I'm going for here. And, nope, that's not what I want. Uh, essentially, what we're doing is we're doing the common design of a rail cart collection system. Yeah. Um, which is actually a first for me because I don't do redstone that much. So I'm going to go ahead and keep working uh, right in here and we'll move on. All right. So we're almost... Uh, finished up here. You know, I've got all the tracks laid out uh, and everything. I may have to adjust a little bit because I noticed while digging through here, oh, or I noticed while setting um, this area up, I won't have a um, a normal like loop if that makes sense because my goal is to you know oh, not do that to have this turn over here um but i don't want the cart or the track or no the rail cart i don't want it to get stuck so i'm gonna have to do some uh r d real quick um and do do a little bit of testing because well I don't want that to happen. No, nope, stop it. No. Nope. Uh. Yeah, like see what I'm working with. Uh. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, hmm. I'll have to figure it out. Okay, so I've done some thinking. I've done some tooling around, and I think I'm actually going to go with the hopper approach. Um, I noticed that for a little bit, my frames were dropping significantly, and I think it's the rail cart because I believe these are considered entities in the game. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead, dig this tear this all up and then we'll just create a hopper system 
because I have the resources for all of that. Um, less technical, more efficient, um, and less laggy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, luckily, I did plan ahead this time and I've gone ahead and created plenty of iron uh, for this project in the case that this happened. Um, let's see. So I guess I'll have to just get a stack of birch wood, turn that into planks, make chests, and then we can make a ton of hoppers. Uh, let's see. Thank you. And hoppers. All right, we'll see how far that gets us. So my plan with this is relatively simple. I'm gonna go ahead and have a chest sitting right here and then just create a hopper chain uh, oh, that doesn't do that, that feeds into uh, each other going down the line. Um, so when things fall, you know, they'll be collected. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then after that, I'll fill this in because I think one of the things that was uh, causing uh, the bit of lag that I was experiencing was that it was trying to render all of these reflections um, at once. So yeah, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and uh, fill this in soon. But for now, I'll keep it like this because this is an easy way to uh, easy way to work on the farm. Sorry, I'm thinking. But I'll be right back, and when I come back, this will be all done. Alrighty, so the farm, uh, the tree farm is updated. I did use a lot of <laughs> iron and wood, but luckily, I have the resources. I am a little rich, if you didn't know. <laughs> um, but that should, we should be able to go ahead and replant our trees. Uh, and then from now on, when they grow, everything will end up in this little, uh, in this little collection chest. So if I just go ahead and drop some over there, it should take a little bit. Um, and then it should pop up in here. Yep. And there they are. Uh, depending on where it falls, um, it will take a little bit of time. If you come down here and look, it's all a chain that just feeds into each other. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and first add a little barrier right here. So... We're not looking at, you know, just bare ground. Uh, and then I can just go ahead and do that. Um, and then I'll fill in. Yeah, I'll fill in the rest of everything um, from there. But now we should be able to move on to our next project. Right. Now, this next project uh, is also storage related, but. We are already overflowing on all of our uh, grain and crop storage. So I figured to accompany the uh, farmhouse here, we could make a few uh, silos. Um, now these will, you know, be uh, decently small, but um, I was thinking that having a silo uh, next to, you know, the farmhouse or having three silos would make sense and it would look good. I'm not sure what to build the casing out of, but we can figure that out as we go along. So for any of you wondering how uh, we're going to do this, I'm just going ahead and creating uh, a little hopper uh, chest system that works like this. And it's just free vertical storage. Um, on top of everything. Now, honestly, I don't think we're going to need more than that for the silos. Um, because that is one, two, three, four double chests full of materials. Um, and, 
you know, since we do trade a good bit of them off, uh, we'll use we'll use that. So I'm just going to copy this about three or four times and then we'll get to building the outer structure of it. Okay, controversial thought, but hear me out. For the silos and for the siding, what if we just use copper? Um, That's only like, you know, that's just a thought. Uh, we can obviously change them out, but copper can show age and it's a cheap metal, which most silos are usually made out of cheap metals. Just food for thought. I think I'm gonna try that out and we'll see how it looks. All right, so while the other copper is cooking, we can go test out how this could look. I thought about choosing copper because uh, this way we can, you know, Okay, this way we can uh, keep it like we we have more, I guess, room, if that makes sense, or we have more room for uh, like creativity. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Uh, because at the end of the day. Silos can be um, any shape, any size. Well, now, hold on. And they could be small silos like this. Um, on, oh, okay. This is going to be weird, but... Ah, I'll actually just go get scaffolding. Okay. So, this is what I'm thinking. You know, just small silos, nothing crazy. Um, and I know you're probably sitting here... Been like, well, yes, these silos are fine. They do the job. They may look a little unorthodox, but the main question is, how am I going to put the uh, grain in the silos? And the answer to that will be, I'll just add ladders on them, duh. <laughs> um, and then from there, we can always expand up um, if needed. And we also have the freedom to do like cool things uh, such as um, like creating uh, piping between them. Things, you know, that, you know, work right. You know, create piping. Um, I need a few more uh, <laughs> things. Uh, what's it called? Things, but yeah, like, you know, create piping in between them and making them look nice. So I'm going to go ahead and go get that copper that we are smelting, and then we can kind of decorate these and make them look pretty. All right, I've got the decoration blocks. I've got the ladder, so we can go ahead uh, and add, I guess the ladders can go on the side because that would make sense. Um, And then for the tops, we can just do things like this and then have slabs up here. Yeah. And then I'll just leave, well, I'll just leave, you know, one section open so that, you know, we can access the tops of each of these silos evenly or easily sorry uh and then i also have piping where to go there it is i also have some you know copper oh some oh wait actually oh that fell down i have some copper uh or well, lightning rods but these would make some Good little piping uh, ducks. So, oh, oh, okay. Maybe I'll just, oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Yeah. And then completely miss that jump. Well, actually I can just go ahead and do it on this side. Which I just realized having the piping going on this side would not really make sense. And of course that fell down. 
Hmm. So I guess I'll just do it on this side. B. Yeah. And I guess I'll actually I'll keep the piping like in between here. Yeah. That way we don't look too crazy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I always look crazy. Uh, and then grab that. Put those here. This way, you know, we can kind of get a view of what they look like. Oh, I also need to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. And yeah, I mean, they're small, they're modest, but right now that's all I need. The piping looks cool. Maybe I can add some, oh, okay. Oh, wait, I can just do this. And then, oh, nope, not what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, this can be better, you know, made, but I think it doesn't look that bad. Speaking of uh, lighting, I can go ahead and sleep in here, and then we can move on to the next project once I finish up. It is night. Ugh. And then we can move on to the next project once I finish up these uh, silos. And it's raining in game. Okay. It always rains. Yes. Oh, boy. Uh, I believe we're having a zombie invasion right now. I was actually just recording. Oh, gosh. I was actually just recording to show you guys. Uh a little update that I realized. But I guess all the zombies decided to invade right now. Which means I probably should check on the villagers. Hey, what it Oh boy. As long as they don't get my villagers. That's all I care about. Actually, that should be fine. Let's just do a quick sweep of the village. Make sure everyone's okay. <laughs> I got interrupted yet again. Um, yeah, all seems peaceful in the village. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Um, but back to what I was saying. I've been... I went and collected uh, the farms um, just so I could, you know, have some stock in here. Um, God, go away. I can't even with you. Go. Stop. Stop it. But <laughs> I realized that one of the benefits of having these little piping things is while I'm up putting stuff in the top of these storage systems, I can just walk across right here. I forgot which one this is. Is this? Okay. Well, it doesn't really help if I forget. Oh, this is potatoes, uh, which is good. So we can offload our inventory into here. And then whenever we need some uh, trading materials, we can just go ahead and hand it off to the villagers. Um, Basically, I'm storing inventory to make money off of my villagers, uh, which I think is a dandy idea. So I'm going to, as a whole, these things are finished. I'm going to kind of spruce up this little area uh, real quick. And then I don't know what I can put here. Maybe I'll put like a little, um, a little wagon or something uh, for, you know, these silos with some hay bales and stuff on it. But I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, tidy up the area, and then we can move on to our next project. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to check the runtime, and then we can move on to the next project. I should be at about, like, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes, so we'll have 20 minutes left over for our final project, but 
I'll keep you in updated. All right, quick update before I check the runtime. I've gone ahead and spruced up this little area. Uh, now it kind of looks like, um, you know, a busy little section. This area was quite empty for quite some time. Uh, and I'm glad I could fill it with something that looks nice. So we have our little wagon here uh, loaded up and ready to go to the market for our farmer to trade. We have the three silos that I think honestly look all right. They kind of look like Squidward's house, um, but for their purpose and the, you know, what they're intended to do and the size, I think they look good. Um, I put some lighting down here, uh, spruced up this area, just did a little bone meal spam just to keep it, you know, not so 2D like over here. And then I added some uh, over inventory overflow space um, for decoration um, because we are a prospering community. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check the runtime. And depending on that, we'll start our next project or we'll wrap things up. All right. So we are actually uh, in perfect time uh, with schedule. So we should have enough time to go ahead and work on our next project. Uh, which is building uh, some docks down here by the town center. I think I'm gonna branch out on this side and this side will handle this area a little more. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and collect some resources real quick uh, and then I'll be back. Uh, but before I go, I just wanna say, I think we'll build out the docks out to about here on this side and then oh, let me get over there <laughs> okay hold on almost there and then maybe up to the bridge so yeah we can kind of terraform it too because this space is kind of useless um so we can widen things out and while i'm uh cleaning out this area I also kind of wanted to emphasize that I still want the river to look natural, but I want to be able to, you know, ha make it add like a man-made concrete uh, section, you know, kind of like a little, uh, I guess, river walk, R but ri <laughs> gosh, river walk. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim out this land a little bit. I think if I go around... If I go like right here, that'll be fine with me because no one's going to everyone. I'm going to drive my boat through there. So I'll be back once this is all cleared out. Oh, I'm stuck. All right. So I've gone ahead and kind of prep the shoreline uh, for the stone bricks. Um, on this side, I think I'm going to go to right here for now um, because... This one is, I mean, it's pretty straightforward over there. Um, but on this side, I can go ahead and kind of start shaping how I want this area to look. Um, like I said, I still want it to seem like a natural curve um, and like maintain the, I guess, natural look of this river opening that kind of goes into the lake but depending on i guess how it looks from or depending on what i want the actual like walkway area to look like will kind of determine uh what we're working with here because i think part of me wants to have it uh you know, like even with water level, that way, if any villagers, um, you know, fall into the water, they can get back out. Um, but the other part of me wants to have it like a block up. Um, and then we'll just go there for now and then fill in the underwater uh, items. Oh, I forgot I don't have a efficiency shovel anymore. 
gonna be rough. Actually, not really. It's not that bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish laying out this brick section, and then we can work on the actual walkway and dock area. For this side, I'm thinking a more gentle uh, curve would be nice. Almost straight, but not exactly straight. Um, let's see, because I can make, I think I'm going to make like a river boat. Um, so I think when I get to this point, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, honestly, I think I might just go like this and then cut this open. Or not cut this open. Uh, you know, go like this. And then just bring it out to right here. And that way we can have our little river section. Yeah. And then I'll just fill all this in with dirt. Oh, I could get that clay. But eh, there's plenty of clay out in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll fill this in and we can start working on this little dock section. I'll do it a one section at a time. We don't have to do the whole. Uh, I was like, I hear running water. Uh, we don't have to do the whole uh, section at a time. We'll just work on this one. Um, it'll especially help too because I know I want some I'm gonna have to like do like an alleyway here and then I know I want some buildings right here facing out towards the main river um, which we can work towards that goal okay so here's what I've got in this section so far I think I'm going to have a little terrace up here uh, that just takes you to a pathway that goes in an alley that just takes you up through this street. Um, and then I want at least a th three wide buffer zone uh, for the dock area because I would like a little, you know, pathway along the edge, um, you know, just, just to make it look nice. Um, and then we can, you know, build accordingly, you know, in this lot uh, for you know, in the future. Um, but after this section, I'm going to get more, some more stone bricks and kind of lay it out. After I finish up laying out this section, we'll do the actual uh, dock part. So as you can see right here, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, tampering it out, um, building it out a little more. I think I'll extend the dock out to here. But I don't know. I think this area of, you know, the little, our little town uh, can be, you know, the industrial kind of, uh, the industrial freight area, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going with. And just a quick update, but we can go ahead and mark out this area and plan to work from there you know i was just thinking and i'm pretty proud of uh what riverton's becoming um i know it's a little i don't know i know it's not like you know what everyone wants to see uh in terms of minecraft gameplay because of the shaders and uh you know stuff like that but you know this is always how i've wanted to play Minecraft and this is how I play Minecraft when um, I'm not recording so I'm glad that I'm able to share uh, with you all how uh, I get to how I play normally um, but I'm also having a lot of fun playing the other series like back to beta days we just had a crazy episode and uh, I know that the next episode in that series, I'm still going to be exploring the cave uh, because it was just that massive. 
Um, and then the hardcore series. Yeah, I keep dying, but <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's a challenge uh, in the game that, you know, keeps me from getting bored. Uh, and yeah, I just like that. So that was my random little sentimental thought of the day. Um, but like it, oh, that, like I, <laughs> like I always say, it's uh, mainly because you guys like to watch it. Um, playing it's half, playing it's a third of it. Sharing it with you guys is a third of it, and then all of the analytics stuff is a third of it. And that's that's really why I enjoy doing. Uh, these minecraft videos yeah random little thought <laughs> um okay so i think i'm gonna go collect my uh collect some wood maybe we can use the new tree farm um i'm gonna go sort out my inventory collect some wood and then i'll be back with building you know the rest of this dock out side note i did really good on this section. I like how it turned out. It's just like. It's a pretty. It's a pretty picture. I think. That will be the thumbnail. Ah yes. Also. I forgot. I am changing the thumbnail format. Uh, back to. I, back to. Kind of a hybrid of the new one. And the old one. Because I think people were getting a little confused. Uh, finding this series and it seemed like a lower click-through rate and a lower watch rate which we don't want that i like it when you guys watch my videos <laughs> all right i'm actually going to record this because i just want to see how well our farm works out uh we'll check it at the end but i don't know i'm curious i'm actually kind of excited i know it's very simple but being able to just walk away and have the farm do everything for me is nice. Now I don't have to sit and wait um, while the leaves are decaying. I can just walk off on my merry way. <laughs> Plus, I also need the wood. So, it's always good to, you know, add to your stockpile before you take away from your stockpile. Basic lessons in inventory management with Beanin. <laughs> Look at that. We are getting some uh, wood. Yeah. Oh, some of them, some of the, you know, saplings will, you know, fall out, but I don't know. It collects a majority. And then I guess, yeah. I don't know. It'll collect, like I said, it'll collect the majority of everything that falls. We're playing, we're playing on the rules of, uh, you know, we're playing majority rules. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying to say. All right. So to continue off with this doc, I think, uh, I'm going to aim for right here. Okay. And then You know, just bring that out right here. Uh, shouldn't have any issues in terms of, you know, boats floating away. Oh, well, they don't do that anymore. Um, mobs getting up and everything. Uh, and so on and so forth. Here, we'll have one here. Um, definitely put a little post right here. And I guess I can put one right here. And then we'll do every one, two, three, post, one, two, three, post, one, two, three, post, one, two, three, post. Okay, so we'll just trim this back one. Yeah, there we go. That. Actually, wait. Okay, yeah. There we go. Awesome. Um, so that's that side. <laughs> I know it doesn't really take too much. Here will be the, um, the big ship dock. This will be where we eventually build our riverboat. Um, and we'll have some, you know, I guess, industrial buildings 
uh, oh, over here. So I'm thinking we do, I think we go until, definitely until the end on this side, but I'm debating if I want to almost, if I want to make a slip or if it's better to just have this little, uh, pier portion because you also um because hmm. i also have to take into consideration you know how it looks uh like in terms like could could a boat the size that i'm building make it through and you know turn around in here um actually i think i, I like i like this section or i like doing it like this so We'll go ahead and put that there and then put another post right here and then yeah i don't need anything right here and then we'll put that right there on this dock since it's bigger i think i'm going to go ahead and put uh a post every five blocks um just because I think if I do three blocks, it'll come on. It'll crowd the what's it called? It'll crowd the dock. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Dang it. Um, yeah. So I'll just finish this dock out, and then we can do a little checkup, a little progress update, and then I'll let you know uh, what we're doing next. All right. So we finished that up. I know it hasn't been that long, but don't judge me. And we'll go ahead and do this. And then we'll do one, wait, one, two, three, four, five. And then post. One, two, three, four, five. And then post. One, two, three, four, five. And then a post. It's okay to have this weird little area. We can have it, we can save it for uh, the smaller boats. <laughs> uh, and then come down here, make sure everything looks good on the bottom. Just because that's how I like to do my docks. There we go. And yeah, that should be good for the little dock area. I don't think right here will have anything um i don't think we'll have anything right here we'll just leave it as open just an open little area you don't have to have docks like everywhere <laughs> so before we wrap things up i'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick recap of things uh to start off the episode we went ahead and updated the tree farm now it can catch uh pretty much all of the saplings and whatnot that falls down from uh, collecting the trees. Uh, we also completed the silo area um, that we use for storage, uh, storing all of our um, carrots, potatoes, and wheat. And we decorated the area immediately around it. And I think that was the best part of this episode. It just looks really nice. Uh, after that, we went ahead and started working on the shoreline of Riverton. Uh, we went down behind uh, Greg's little fishing hut and we created some docks, did a little bit of terracing, and that's pretty much it. This episode might be a little bit shorter, but I'd rather it be shorter with three good quality projects that I was able to work on than have it longer with, you know uh and i'm like then have it longer than you know a uh, episode with one mediocre uh project these also weren't building projects so uh they all took less time because they were pretty simple to work on but thank you guys for joining i'm beanin remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it leave a comment uh subscribe if you're new let me know what you like about this series. Let me know what I can change about it. Let me know what you think about the time. 
like the runtime, and let me know what you think about the new thumbnail change. Um, but that's been another episode of another Minecraft Let's Play. I'm Beanin. Peace. <laughs>